Hello everyone, it is I, your man Niven Sharma, and welcome back to another video. Now this is going to be me reacting to the Premier League fixtures from Friday the 12th of March to Monday the 15th of March, and last weekend's fixtures from the 19th of March to the 22nd of March. <clears throat> and yeah, so with that being said, we move on to our first fixtures, reacting to them, obviously. So the first game from that week was Newcastle United versus Aston Villa. I predicted uh, Newcastle United nil, Aston Villa three. It ended Newcastle United nil. I'm sorry, it ended Newcastle United one. Aston Villa won. The, the next fixture was uh, Leeds United versus Chelsea. I predicted um, Chelsea to win that game. Um, Leeds United won, Chelsea three. It ended in a boring goalless draw. So yeah, um, a bit boring, but still our unbeaten run continues as of right now. The next game, Crystal Palace versus West Bromwich Albion. I predicted Crystal Palace won, West Bromwich Albion won. It ended Crystal Palace nil. Sorry, it ended Crystal Palace won, West Bromwich Albion nil. The next fixture was Everton versus Burnley. I predicted Everton won, Burnley won. It ended Everton won, Burnley two. With a goal of the season contender from Dwight McNeil. Yeah, that was a really good goal. The next game was Fulham versus Manchester City. Now, Fulham were looking to get out of the relegation zone. But you know what you get when you're playing Man City. You get beat. It's as simple as that. And they're winning, they're winning the league title this season. They currently hold a 14-point lead against second place. And they're currently unbeaten. No, sorry. They only have one loss in their past five games. And that was against their city rivals, Man United. So, yeah. Comfortable win for Manchester City. Uh, it ended nil three. Um, the next game is uh, was Southampton versus Brighton and Hove Albion. I predicted Southampton two, Brighton and Hove Albion one. It ended Southampton one, Brighton and Hove Albion two. The next game was Leicester City versus um, Sheffield United. And I predicted a routine win for Leicester City. 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil Leicester City. It ended 5-0 Leicester City. Yeah, and Sheffield United still stuck on 14 points. They're, they're going down, and I really hope they get back. I really hope they come back to the Premier League sometime in the future. I still, I'm still shocked that they sacked Chris Wilder. Um, 
But, um, yeah, we move on. Now, the, the next game was um, a, the North London Derby at the Emirates. I predicted Arsenal 2, Tottenham Hotspur 4. It ended Arsenal 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1. With another goal of the season contender in a Rabona finish by Eric Lamella, who got sent off later on. Ironically, Jose's team were better with 10 men on the pitch. And they could have snatched a win. Anyway, we move on. Um, Man United versus West Ham United. Second to last fixture of uh, the weekend beginning Friday 12th. Ending Monday 15th of March. So yeah, I predicted Man United 1, West Ham United 3. It ended Man United 1, West Ham United 0. With an own goal from Craig Dawson. The next game and the final game from this weekend was... Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Liverpool. I predicted Liverpool would win. Um, they had to bounce back at some point. I predicted Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Liverpool 3. It ended Wolverhampton Wanderers 0, Liverpool 1. So those are the fixtures from two weeks ago. Now, I am going to bring up the fixtures for from last weekend. So, yeah, um, 19th to the 22nd of March, the first game was Fulham. Versus Leeds United. I predicted Fulham to win that game because of Leeds' horrible defence. But they did score first, mind you. Leeds equalised through Patrick Bamford and then uh, took the lead through Rafinha. I predicted Fulham won, Leeds United nil. It ended Fulham 1, Leeds United 2. The next game, Brighton and Hove Albion versus Newcastle United. And boy was this a game full of goal of the season contenders. An absolute wonder strike from... Danny Welbeck. And I think the other two came from Pascal Gross and Leandro Trossard. I might... Let me check. That might be the case. Brighton versus... Yeah. And Neil Morpé. Not uh, Pascal Gross. So, yeah. Three goals. Three... In my opinion, three goal of the season contenders. That goal by Welbeck, what a strike. He doesn't score many goals, but the goals he scores, wow. Just wow. The next game was... Um, yeah, a lot of goal of the season contenders this in the past two weeks. The next game is um, Aston Villa versus Tottenham Hotspur. I predicted Tottenham to win that game, which they did. I predicted Aston Villa won, Tottenham Hotspur two. It ended Aston Villa nil, Tottenham Hotspur two. They're now Mourinho's back to winning ways. Now the biggest shock result 
of the whole season, in my opinion. West Ham United versus Arsenal. I predicted West Ham United 2, Arsenal 1. <sighs> Could have gone a lot worse. It ended West Ham United 3, Arsenal 3. They were 3 0 down. At they were three one down at half time, and then uh, they had a they had a comeback in the second half, and then walked away with a point. Um, so yeah, a, a draw was well deserved in my opinion. That keeps, but that draw brings West Ham two points closer to Champions League football. Never thought I'd ever be saying that about West Ham. They're usually a team I would associate with mid-table finishes and relegation battles, not European football. But if it's not Champions League football, they will get some sort of European football this season. So yeah, they just need to win their next game in order to... To leapfrog us into fourth. But nah, we're not letting that happen. We won Champions League football. Um, but yeah, that is the end of the reactions to the Premier League fixtures for now. The Premier League will restart after the international break. Um, let me just check when the next game is. Um, 3rd of April is when the restart is. So yeah, 3rd of April is the restart. And now we will, now I'll recap the, I'll recap the table and see where each team sit. Going from a bottom place to first. So in 20th place, with only one win in their past five games. Sheffield United. And I think they're going to stay there for the rest of the season. In 19th place, West Bromwich Albion. Sam Allardyce, unless he resigns, he will get relegated for the first time in his career. On 18 points. In 18th place, we have uh, West London rivals, Fulham, on 26 points. They, If they win their next game, they're out of the relegation zone at Newcastle's expense. Speaking of Newcastle, in 17th, Newcastle, with no wins in their past five, 28 points. Brighton and Hove Albion. 32 points with only two wins in their past five games. In 15th place, Burnley. With only one win in their past five games. In 14th place, tied with... Tied on 33 points with Burnley, Southampton, with only one win in their past five games. Wolves. Yeah, Wolves are 13th with only one win in their past five games. Two draws and two losses. Crystal Palace in 12th with 37 points. Two wins. In their past five games. Two wins. Yeah, in 11th place, Leeds United with two wins in their past five games, losing the other two and drawing the other. 
In 10th place, Aston Villa, with one win in their past five games, losing two and drawing two. In 9th place, Arsenal, with only one loss in their past five games, winning two, drawing two. In 8th, we have Everton. In, in the Europa Conference League position, we have Everton finishing, sorry, with two losses and three wins in their past five games. In seventh place, occupying the, the first of three Europa League spots is current champions Liverpool with, with two wins in their past five games. The other three being all losses. In sixth place, occupying the second Europa League place, Tottenham Hotspur on 48 points with with only with with four wins in their past five games and losing just one. Just one, yeah. In in fifth place, the third Europa League spot is West Ham United on 49 points, only winning two of their past five games, losing two and drawing two, with Chelsea in fourth place on 51 points, we are uh, Chelsea are unbeaten in their past five games, but three of the games have been draws, so we have to keep that in mind. And two wins. In third place, Leicester City, who have lost only one of their past five games. Drawing one and winning the remaining three. In second place, we have Manchester United on 57 points. And they are unbeaten in their past five games. Winning three, drawing two. And in first place, champions elect Manchester City on 71 points. They have only lost one of their past five games, which was the Manchester derby. So yeah, with that being said, we go through this really quickly now. Occupying the relegation zones are Sheffield United, West Bromwich Albion and Fulham. Occupying the conference, the Europa Conference spot is Everton. Occupying the Europa League places for now. Liverpool, Tottenham Hotspur and West Ham United. And the Champions League places are currently held by Chelsea, Leicester City, Manchester United and Manchester City. So, now since it's the international break, I may or may not do watch-alongs. You, might, you may see some new content. I don't know, I still have to think. But I will definitely be back when the Premier League restarts. So, with that being said... In fact, leave me suggestions on what I could do in the international break in the comments below. So, with that being said, social media is in the description below. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on the bell notifications if you haven't already. The like target for this video is 5 likes, so that would be great. And I shall see you in the next video. You have been a wonderful audience and this is Nippon Sharma signing off. Take care of yourself. Peace. Up the Chels and London is blue and I'm out of here.